Hi, this is Kurt from Converge, and you're watching All the Rage TV. Yeah, we're excited to be here. We're especially excited we were able to get a good show with last last minute booking because uh, Fury of Fest was canceled. So it's great, great to be back here. We, we played here once before, and it was a good show. We've got maybe like seven or eight songs that we're working on. Um, a few of them are finished. We'll be playing one of the one of the new songs tonight. Um, yeah, we put it on a, a split seven inch with our friends in Drop Dead, um, but that song will probably also appear on the album. I have a recording studio. We've done the last like three albums in, so I'm sure we'll just be back at my studio. How do you all guys find time to sleep with all the projects you have? <laughs> if you have the motivation to, to do something, then you know, then you stay busy. I mean, I don't, I don't, I never go on vacation. I never have free time. I mean, I sleep, but I don't have a lot of free time, but I'd, I'd rather, um, you know, every time I do sit down and, and relax, I'm always like my, my brain gets occupied with all the things that I could be doing that I'm not doing, you know, all the productive things. And I know that like relaxation is important, but, um, I know I'd rather, I'd rather just, uh, I know I only have a limited amount of time on, on the earth and I'd like to try to do as much of it as much with my time as I can. Turning down most of the projects that come my way because I'm too busy and just trying to like work with my friends and work with old, mostly with clients that I already have that I've done a few albums with and you know so it's a good it's a good social job I just get to hang out with my friends and, and make music and try to try to be creative and have fun. What happened to the project Virgin? Well, um, our last album, Axe to Fall, I think maybe three or four of the songs on that were um, began their lives as Virgin songs, and um, and uh, I think one song from uh, No Heroes was a Virgin song, and then there's a few remaining ones, and Caven guys are going to be working on those and trying to trying to finish up those. You know, like as as a as a unit, there was just too many too many cooks in the kitchen for that project to kind of. Uh, come to fruition there was a lot of a lot of arguing back and forth about what was um, you know the direction of the songs and stuff and you know not everyone was there all the time so people that weren't there had you know different opinions from the people that were there and it just we hit a lot of roadblocks with doing that but but um, you know with each of our two bands kind of splitting the songs up and finishing them separately it seems to seems to work out I mean, we definitely like playing small shows a whole lot more than we like playing festivals. You know, like we're a hardcore band, and you know, this is what we grew up doing. You know, playing small stage with no barricade and interaction with the audience, and that you know, that's what makes for a good hardcore show. But um, you know, festivals are kind of fun too. Like you get to play outside, and um, you know, the air is the air is clean, and you get to play with a lot of like really bizarre, interesting bands you never would have an opportunity to play with otherwise. So it's kind of fun doing that, and. Um, and usually, like the, you know, the money we make playing those festivals will cover the expenses for the rest of the tour. It, it enables us to do all these like smaller club shows. I mean, there's a difference everywhere you go, but I think it's more of, like a difference from city to city. Like a show in New Jersey is nothing like a show in Vermont, and that's nothing like a show that's in Arizona or in Washington. You know, it's the same. Like the difference between like a Boston show and a California show is just as different as the difference between a Boston show and a Paris show. So it's tough to say. You know, it's just every city kind of has its own little personality. We like going everywhere. Uh, we chose the name of the band Converge because uh, we were doing a demo and we were called Undertow and we found out there was another band called Undertow and we had like a, like a, a few hours before the demos were going to the printer and we needed a name. <laughs> So that's pretty much how we got our name. It was either Jake or I. I don't know. We were just kind of like hunting around, throwing out words. And we're like, yeah, okay. You know, the, well, I guess we kind of like the idea that we're four different people with all different ideas and that we kind of converge together into, to form one unit of a, of a band. But, you know, originally, like, the, the name was fairly arbitrary. This current band has been together for, I think, like 11 or 12 years. But, you know, it took the first eight years or so of the band of people coming and going to really figure out what the right lineup was. Like, there's no way I can imagine myself still in the band that was the original band. But um, with these four people that we have now, I, mean, I think we're all great friends. You know, we're like a family. 
and you know brothers and sisters they fight and stuff but they love each other too so um, plus you know we have this like shared experience of having been all over the world together and we're still able to like make music that we enjoy together so there's no reason to stop yet I mean hopefully the same thing you know I, I mean I can't I can't imagine us like touring relentlessly in 10 years or so but like I, I hope we're still making music that together that we all appreciate and enjoy doing. Mm -hmm.